iOS 26 Beta 7 and iOS 26 Public Beta 4 have been out for a couple days now, and I have a couple takeaways for you guys if you've been waiting to download it. Let's jump into what everyone wants to know right off the bat, and that is battery life. Battery life has been weirdly inconsistent here. So, as you can see, here is a perfect example. This phone has been off its charger for only an hour or so, and I am down 7% based on what it's saying, a higher than average usage, which I don't feel to be the case necessarily from this morning, and it is just randomly draining. Not alarmingly so throughout the day, it balances out, but you will definitely need to have a top off on this, any device right now running iOS 26 beta 7 or public beta 4. It is not bad, like I said. I do only have 95% battery health with 359 cycles, so take that for what you'd like. It's definitely been a well-used device over almost a year we've had it, but 95% max capacity is still an improvement over what we were seeing on the same year-over-year -year time from the iPhone 15 series. And then also, we do have to say one of those changes that we didn't mention earlier, you now have notifications for adaptive power mode letting you know when it is on. I've actually not seen this trigger at all yet uh, in the few days we've been using it. One other thing that is kind of interesting here, we do have, oops, I'm sorry, uh, under the build number here in A build, beta seven, public beta four, isn't gonna be the last beta. We fully expect to get an eighth beta and fifth public beta next week, probably on Monday or so. We'll talk about that in our Apple Rewind video coming on Sunday, but I'm not sure why this is an A build, especially when we talk about some of the next things that are coming, and that is going to be heat dissipation. So beta five, beta six, really didn't give us many issues with heat overheating on the phone when we were using it, prior betas did, but they were somewhat improved. For some reason, just daily usage, if you're just scrolling around, let's go to Safari or something, and you're looking at any website, and then you have a message you wanna to respond to, or you just decide to go into, let's say, Clash Royale and play, this phone is heating up. Just from doing that, I already can feel it getting warmer than what it was at. It is not, again, alarmingly bad, but just something to be aware of. This didn't seem to be the case in beta six at all. Definitely kind of weird. Also kind of weird in the wallpaper picker, we are seeing some delay. So when I long press here, look at this delay before it actually triggered. That was a little better, but for some reason now for the last couple betas, there has been a substantial delay in doing wallpaper selection and then going through the wallpaper picker itself. It was definitely kind of weird. As far as stability goes though, luckily everything has been stable on this build. Like I said, jumping around, doing anything you need. Let's go in our stocks app. If you missed all this, you can see just how quick it actually does work. And we've had no issues from that standpoint, no app crashes, no springboard reboots, nothing like that. So I do have to say that has been awesome. If you go into Geekbench, I did actually run a Geekbench benchmark just out of curiosity to show historically at the beginning of these betas and where we're at now and take a look at the jump. July 10th was one of the earlier betas and look at our multi-core score. 8136, we're now at 8274, but single core took a huge leap forward from 2741 to 3415. That is good to see. That shows you just how they kept making progress through the beta cycle and how well it's actually worked to this point. Again, if you're interested, beta seven is out now, public beta four if you're not in the developer beta program, but let's talk about what to expect here going forward. Obviously today's the 21st, we've been running these betas for about three and a half days or so. Next week on the 25th, I do fully expect us to get another beta being beta eight. And then probably later in the day or the next coming days, we should receive public beta five, and then we would be expecting a two week or so delay before the next beta. September 1st and 8th will probably not get a beta. However, around the 9th, when the rumored Apple event is, that is when we will receive the RC or release candidate build. 
That'll be the final. And then the week after that, most likely on Monday the 15th, that is when iOS 26 will go public and the public release will occur. And later on that week around the 19th, that is when we are expecting the new iPhones to drop, new Apple Watches, all of the new um, year that Apple has planned for this time of year. So that's it for this one. One reminder though as well, if you're interested in these wallpapers, since I know a lot of you guys ask about it in the comments, Apple Rewind is where we will be dropping these every weekend, most likely on a Sunday, giving you the recap of the week and dropping the links for these wallpapers. So big thumbs up for that. Let me know if you're excited about these wallpapers and iOS 26 as a whole coming out of beta. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.